case in particular that we uh, decided to apply this technology to was a 10-year-old girl uh, who presented with a generalized tonic-clonic seizure. Um, her uh, physical exam was normal after the seizure recovered, and, but her imaging uh, was consistent with uh, a brain tumor in a part of the brain called the insula. And in the MRI, we mapped the vessels and the tracks in the brain. And then he came by and he looked at the imaging in a virtual reality format so he could plan his surgery as to how he could approach the tumor. Now the insula is a very deep part of the brain um, underneath the frontal and temporal lobes. Uh, just a, hers was on the right side. And the importance of the insula uh, cannot be understated. It can be uh, very devastating to uh, basically just make your way to that tissue and remove the tumor. So as one of the surgical adjuncts we use uh, was this type of virtual reality technology, allowing us to really be certain that we knew what corridors in the brain we were going to use um, and what we would see as we dissected through those natural corridors. Uh, and in the end, we used uh, natural corridors that really only had us go through approximately four millimeters of brain. We removed the lesion in its entirety. Um, she woke up perfectly normal uh, and uh, the tumor was completely resected. So we were happy.